Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christos anesti ekne kron thanato thanaton pati sasketi sentis mnimasi Zoin carisamenos. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he has trampled upon death. And to those in the tombs he is bestowing life. Christ Sanesti ek necron thanato thanaton pati sasketi sentis mnimasi. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace and invincible standard. Now and always and forever and ever, amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Eleison imas u theos, katatomega eleos u theomethas u epakuson ke eleison. Κύριε Λέισον, 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 Κύριε Nin ke ai ke istus eonas to neono. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-creating, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me, many who say to me there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's. Upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O 
O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck I stumbled, mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man, and heard them not, as a dumb man, and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing, and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, Oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who blustered mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who rendering evil for good opposed me when I sought but justice. O oh Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choicest fare, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead like the slain left to lie in the grave, those who rem you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to, you, to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you, but will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave, or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O oh Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me a friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O oh Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. 
May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of, vind of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we are formed. Remembers we are only made of dust. A man his days resemble grass. As a flower of the field so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him and he is gone. And never shall he know his place again. But the mercy of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea. And in your righteousness, answer me, and enter not into judgment with your servant, since all, of all the living none in your sight is just. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea. And in your righteousness, answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever, and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Isaiah, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces on land, at sea and in the air, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, 
And for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, land, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all-holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Εξομολογήστε το Κύριο και επικαλείστε το όνομα του Άγιον αυτού, Θεός Κύριος και επεφανέν ημίν ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. When you descended to the realm of death, you as life immortal rendered to Hades a mortal blow by your own radiant divinity. And when you from infernal depths and the darkness below did raise the dead, all the hosts of heaven's powers did proclaim and cry out, O life-giving Christ, and our God we give glory. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, O Apostle, the Beloved of Christ, God, hasten to deliver us, a people that has no excuse. He accepts you supplicating him, for he condescended at the supper to let you lean on him. Entreat him, O Theologian, that he scatter the persistent cloud of hostile nations, and pray for us for peace and great mercy. Both now and ever into the angel, ages of ages, amen. The angel standing at the sepulchre cried out and said to the ointment bearing women, the ointments are appropriate for mortal men, but Christ has been shown to be a stranger to decay. So go and cry aloud, the Lord has risen and granted the world his great mercy. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all-holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another and all our life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 
of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. And entreat you to forgive our offenses, O Christ our God. By your own choice you were pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh to deliver us whom you created from our slavery to the foe. Therefore we cry out to you with gratitude. You have filled all things with joy, O our Savior, by coming to save the world. <laughs> Τον λίθον του μνήματο φραγιστήν εμίκολη σα. Την πέτραν τη πίστε ω ανάστα παρέσκε. Πασί κύριε δόξα σι. O Christ, your virgin mother saw you stretched out on the cross, and she cried bitterly and said, O oh, my son, what is this awful mystery? You have given you who give life eternal to all. How is it that you voluntarily die a painful death on a cross? As a disciple with close access to the Lord, at the supper you lean close upon his breast and ask Jesus, who is it, O Lord, who will betray you? And with the bread he clearly indicated him unto you, for you were his beloved disciple, O glorious. Therefore, O apostle, theologian, and mystic, of mysteries ineffable, you teach of the incarnation of the word to the whole wide world. Intercede with Christ our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those who with longing observe your holy memory. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The devout, murmuring women came to your tomb, O Savior, intent on anointing you, the Master, with spices, as if you were mortal. But an angel declared the joy to them, the Lord has risen. So announce to the apostles his truly terrific resurrection from the sepulcher. Today is the memory of the apostle St. John throughout the entire world, and it illumines us all, so let us now honor it. It is clearly apparent in the gospel he authored that he was the Lord's friend and a true theologian. Therefore he pours out healings to all those who honor him. The women with faith brought spices for you, O Lord. They earnestly wish to anoint you, the friend of man. Then an angel spoke to them from the tomb, announcing the giver of life. And Lord has arisen after trampling Hades and death. Ετι και τι ενηρίνει του Κυρίου δειθόμεν. Αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη. Της Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσπίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρίας. Με τα πάντων των Αγίων ημονεύσαν δε σε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθά.
ότι ευλογητέ σου το όνομα και δεδόξαστέ σου η βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Εκ νεότητος μου πολλά πολέμη με πάθη, αλλά αυτούς αντίλαβου και σώσον σωτήρ μου. Οι μισούν δε σύγιονες κίνητε από του Κυρίου, ως χόρτος γαρπηρίες εστέ απέκτητες, Εξήραμε From the Holy Spirit to the streams of grace well forth, they irrigate everything created so that life be engendered. His proclamation went forth into all the earth and his words to the ends of the world. Is pass and in him exilt and of thongs have to και στα πέρατα τη οικουμένη στα ρήματα αυτού. The heavens declare the glory of God, the firmament shows the creation of his hands. His proclamation went forth into all the earth, and his words to the ends of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints, and to you we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Ας απνοεί εν εσάτω τον Κύριο. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. And that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom rise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time Jesus revealed himself to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. And when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, When you were young, you girded yourself and walked where you would. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish to go. This he said to show by what death he was to glorify God. And after this, he said to him, follow me. Peter turned and saw following them the disciple whom Jesus loved. 
who had lain close to his breast at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. The saying spread abroad among the brethren that this disciple was not to die. But Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die. But if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things. And we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things which Jesus did were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. If you, for if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. At the intercession of the, the Apostle, O Lord of mercy, blood of my many offenses. Amen. 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 Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. He is the paramount of the apostles, the trumpet of the ology, the spiritual general who made the civilized world subject to God, that celebrated evangelist John. 
Come, believers, let us call him blessed. He was translated from earth, yet not withdrawn from earth. He is alive and waiting for the fearful second coming of the Master. May we meet it unconcerned, O mystical bosom friend of Christ. As you pray for us, who lovingly observe your memory. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our all pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. By the power of the precious and life-giving cross through the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers, by the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and baptist John, of the holy glorious and all praiseworthy and chief apostles, Peter and Paul, as well as all the holy apostles, of our holy fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of Athanasius, Cyril, John, the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimithus, Dionysius, Archbishop of Aegina from Zakynthos, and Nectarius of Pendapolis, the Wonder Workers, of the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, George, the Trophy Bearer, Demetrius, the Myrrh Flowing, Theodore, the Recruit, Theodore, the General, Minas, the Wonder Worker of the Holy Hyro Martyrs, Ignatius, Polycar, Paralambos, Eleftherios, and Cosmas, et Olos, of the Holy Glorious, Great Women Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fodini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of the Holy Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers who were illumined in asceticism, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist John, the theologian whom we commemorate, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only all merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Elei ke iktirmis ke filantropia tu muno yenusu iu me thu e blogitosi si do panagio ke agatho ke zopi o supne mati nin ke ai ke istu seonas to neono. Amen. Insane, rejoice to the myrrh bearers. You allayed the lament of the first mother, Eve, at your resurrection, O Christ our God. And you ordered your apostles to proclaim, The Savior has risen from the sepulcher. The Savior has risen from the sepulcher. You can recount all your mighty deeds, O Virgin. You pour out miracles and you overflow with cures. And you intercede on behalf of our souls as a theologian and friend of Christ. As a theologian and friend of Christ. Daring and incomprehensible it is to search out celestial heights and the depths of the sea as well. So just as it is wholly impossible to number the stars and the sand on the shores, so no one is able to tell about the theologian. So many are the crowns with which Christ has crowned his beloved. He leaned on his chest and ate with him at the mystical supper as a theologian and friend of Christ. As a theologian and friend of Christ. On May 8th, we commemorate the holy and glorious apostle and evangelist John the theologian, the virgin and beloved bosom friend of Christ, and celebrate the service in honor of the holy dust that is the manna that issued from his grave. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Arsenios the Great. On this day, devout Saint Meles, the hymnographer, reposed in peace. On this day, a regiment of soldiers was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. 
By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Anastase, O Simera, Lambrin, Thomen, Lai, Pascha, Kiriu, Pascha, Ekartana, Tu prozoin, Kerkis, Prosura, Nor Christos, O Theos, I must be a viva sen epiniki on a dondas. Amen, let us drink a new drink, not one marvelously issuing from a barren rock, but one that Christ from the tomb pours out in corruption's very source, for we are established in him. Now let Habakkuk as a God-inspired prophet stand with us, keeping his divine watch and show us. The angelic messenger who shining utters glowingly today for the world is salvation because a risen is Christ being omnipotent. Arising at dawn very early, instead of ointment a him let us offer unto the master and then we shall clearly see christ the son of righteousness causing true life to arise for all you went down to the nether regions of earth and you broke apart the bars that forever were closed on those who were held there O christ from the sepulchre, as did Jonah from the will, you arose on the third day. The same one who delivered the lads from fire, becoming a mortal man, suffers in the flesh, and by his passion he arrays mortal nature with majesty, free of corruption, the only God of the fathers, blessed and supremely glorious. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. This is it the day which is chosen and holy, day one of the Sabbaths, it is the Queen Day, the Lord. Day and the feast of all feasts, and the festival above every festival, on which we extol Christ and bless him to the age. In Theotokon, Kemitera to Potos, and Imnis de Mondes Megalino Men. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth shall generations shall call me blessed, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. 
He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do it magnify. He put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. The angel cried aloud to the lady full of grace, Rejoice, O pure virgin, and again I say rejoice. Your son has truly risen from the grave on the third day. Be illumined, illumined, O new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has arisen over you. Dance now for joy, Zion, and exalt, and you be merry, O pure Theotokos, at the arising of the one you Ετι <Σιναι> Και πάσαν την ζωή νημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Αμήν. Ότι σε νουσι πάσε δυνάμεις των ουρανών και εσύ τη δόξα να αναπέμποσι το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Of Christ the Logos you imbibed, streams of life that were full of the theology. Blessed theologian, and with this godly water you irrigate the world, which today pays you honor. O oh, women, hearken to the voice that echoes with exult and joy, trampling on Hades, you that tyrant. I raised up all from corruption. Run now with haste and tell my friends good tidings as evangelists. 
For I will that my creature see joy distinctly arising from woman who came from came sorrow. I Επίτες δυναστίες αυτού ενείτε αυτόν κατά το πλήθος της μεγαλοσύνης αυτού. Μακάρι ο ανυπάν σοφε περιουσία θερμής προς Χριστόν αγαπήσεως πλέον πάντων πέφινας μαθητών αγαπόμενος το πάντε πόπτη λόγο και κρίνοντι δικαίοι σπάσαν την οικουμένη ζυγής της καθαρότητος και αγνίας κάλεση καταυγαστής σώμα και διανία Θεό μακαρίστε. St. John with spiritual songs as a servant of Christ the King, garland of virginity and the luminous mouth of grace, the habitation most worthy to receive, the divine virtues, the church's brightest eye, and let us honor him as the Holy Spirit, sacred and divine, temple and the instrument of the wisdom of God. Praise Him with timbrel and dance, praise Him with strings and flute. Let us now extol the most divine Saint John with spiritual songs as a servant of Christ the King, garland of virginity and the luminous mouth of grace the habitation most worthy to receive the divine virtues the church's brightest eye and let us honor him as the holy spirit sacred and divine temple and the instrument of the wisdom of God. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. John, when you lean close upon the breast of divine wisdom himself, you drew out as if from a well waters of theology. And you water the world with them, and 
Amen. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Have logitos, kyrie, thidakson, meta thidrex, mepsar, kusasu. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Hear my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy to those who know you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Agios o Theos, Agios Iskiros, Agios Athanatos Eleisonimas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Doxa Patri Keio, Ke Agio Pnemati, Enim ke ai, ke istu se honas tone honon amin. Agi ho satanatos eleisonimas. Holy God, holy God, hasten to deliver us a people that has no excuse. He accepts your, you supplicating him, for he condescended at the supper to let you lean on him, and treat him, O theologian, that he scattered the persistent cloud of hostile nations. And pray for us, for peace and great mercy. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christos anesti eklekron, thanato, thanaton, patis asketis, entis mnimasi, zoin charisamenos. Christos anesti ek nekron thanato 
สนาทนพาทิสาสเกติเสนติสมนิมาสีเนรินิตุกิริยุเดย์ทอเมอิเปอร์ติสานุเทนิรินิสเกติสอติริยาสตันพิคอนิมันตุกิริยุเดย์ทอเมอิเปอร์ติสิรินิสตุสิบันดอสโคสมุเอฟสตาฟิอาสตันไอฮิอันตุเทวเอเคลิซิอันเกติสตันปันดอนเนโนเซอสตุกิริยุเดย์ทอเมอิเปอร์ตัวยิวิคุตุตุเคตอนเมตาพิสเตอเซบลาวิอาสเคฟอวบุเทวิสิอันดอนเอนัฟโตตุกิริยุเดย์ทอมเมอิเปอร์ตอนเอปเซบอนเคอร์ทอดอกซอนคริสเตียนอนตุกิริยุเดย์ทอมเมอิเปอร์ตัวอาร์คิเอปิสโคปุยมอนิซายุตุติมิวเปรสบิเตอริยุติเซนคริสโตดิอาคนิอาสปันดอสตุคลีรุเคตุลาอุตุกิริยุเดย์ทอมเม For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces on land, at sea, and in the air, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by Your grace. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ, our God. Lord our God, whose power is inconceivable and whose glory is incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable and whose love for mankind is ineffable, you, Master, in your compassion, look upon us and upon this holy house and grant your rich mercies and your compassions to us and to those who pray with us. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Shout to God all the earth through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Tala te dito no mati aftu do te doxan en esi aftu te spresbi estis Theotokos o tersos o nimas. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Etiquette, yen irini tu kiriu dai thome. Andi lavu so so ne lei so ni dia filak so ni maso theos ti si kariti. Ti spanaia sa krandu i pere mlogi meni senok su despini si monte o toku ki ai parter Maria's. Μετά πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε σε αυτούς και αλλήλους 
και πάσα τη ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Κύριε ο Θεό, υποτιώσουν του λαού σου και ευλόγησαν την κληρονομία σου στο πλήρωμα τη Εκκλησία σου, φύλαξαν, αγίασαν του αγαπώντε την ευπρέπεια του οίκου σου, ή αυτού αντιδόξασαν τη θεϊκή σου δυνάμει, και μη εγκαταλείπηση μα του ελπίζοντα επισεύ. Ότι σών το κράτο και σου εστίν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο. Νην και αι και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. May God be gracious to us and bless us. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Επιφάνε το πρόσωπο αυτού εφημά και ελεύθε ημά. Όσον ημά η αιθεό αναστάσε εκ νεκρών. Σαλοντά η Αλληλούια. That we may know his way on the earth, your salvation among all the Gentiles. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Let the peoples give thanks to you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, immortal one. Who for our salvation did so humble yourself by taking, taking flesh by, by the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Without change did you become man and were crucified, Christ our God, but conquered death by your death. As one of the Holy Trinity, and being glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another and all our life to Christ our God. You who grant us these common prayers offered with one voice and who have promised that where two or three agree in your name, you will receive their petitions. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants as befits them, granting us the knowledge of your truth in this age and eternal life in the age to come. For you are a good God who loved mankind, and to you we send up glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered and let those who hate him flee from before his face. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish. As wax melts before the fire, so shall the sinners perish from the face of God. And let the righteous be glad. This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he has trampled upon death. And to those in the tombs he Sophia, Orthi, in congregations, bless God the Lord from
from the springs of Israel. Save us, O Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. O Tecati, Ilfes, Prostanthanaton, Isoia Thanatos, Toteno Athen, Enecrosos, Tias Rapitis Theotitos, Ute Tecetus Theotas, Ecton Catalonion, Anesisas, O Apostle, the Beloved of Christ God, hasten to deliver us, a people that has no excuse. He accepts you supplicating him, for he condescended at this supper to let you lean on him. Entreat a theologian that he scatter the persistent cloud of hostile nations and pray for us for great peace and great mercy. Just standing at the sepulcher, cried out and said to the ointment bearing women, The ointments are appropriate for mortal men, but Christ has been shown to be a stranger to decay. So go and cry aloud, The Lord has risen and granted the world his great mercy. Λογητός η Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, ο πανσόφους του σαλής αναδείξας, καταπέμψες αυτοί στο Πνεύμα το Αγίον, και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένην σαγηνεύσας, Philanthrope, Loxasi. So you went down into the tomb, O immortal one, yet you brought down the dominion of Hades, and you rose as a victor, O Christ our God, and you called out, Rejoice to the forbearing women. And gave peace to your apostles, O Lord, who to the fallen grant resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, we're holy, we're a simple.
be attentive. His proclamation went forth into all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and touched with our hands, concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest, and we saw it, and we testify to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life, which was, what was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing this that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not live according to the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us all from all sin. Peace be with you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, rise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Ukero ekino, istiki san parato stavro tu isu imiti raftu ke ya delfit smitros avtu. Maria itu kleopa, ke Maria i Magdalini, Jesus oni don ti mitera ke enton matitin paresto ta oni gapa. Λέγει τη μητρία του, γίνε η δε ο Υιός σου, ή τα λέγει το μαθητή, ειδού η μήτυρ σου. Και απ' εκείνης της ώρας έλαβε ο μαθητής αυτήν εις τα ίδια, ούτως εστίν ο μαθητής ο μαρτυρών περί τούτων και γράψα στα αυτά, και είδαμε ότι αληθείς εστίν η μαρτυρία αυτού, Έστι δε και άλλα πολλά όσα επίσεν ο Ιησούς άτινα εάν γράφητε καθένου δε αυτόν είμαι τον κόσμο χωρίς τα γραφόμενα βιβλία μη. At that time standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister 
Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene, when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own home. After Jesus, after this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things. And we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things which Jesus did. Were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is risen. We heard not once but twice in both gospel selections today, once in Orthros and once in the Divine Liturgy. And they were both different gospels, but they, the gospel readings, but they used the same ending that it were every one of the wonders that Christ had worked, be, were they written? The world itself could not contain the books that would be written. And this is also to say that while the scripture is often referred to as the word of God and not entirely incorrect, it's not the entirety of our understanding of what the word word means. Because if the whole planet and even universe, I would dare say, could not dis hold all of the books that would describe the wonders of God, and even if we managed to fill all conceivable space with it, we would still not be able to understand God because if we knew everything about God, then we would be God. But this same theologian, this same wonderful apostle and evangelist is the one who wrote for all of us to remember that in the beginning was the Word, not the Scriptures, the Word, the Son of God. Before anything, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit exists in the beginning, which is before creation. Anytime we think of a beginning, as St. Basil teaches, it's not the thing that's beginning. So the beginning of creation is not really creation. He says the beginning of the road is not the road. The beginning of the building is not the building. Not even part of it. There has to be a part that's before. And God is before creation, before time. And so there's a lot to digest just in the opening phrase of the, in, of the, of the gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. But also in today's epistle, John says, that which was in the beginning, we saw, we touched. This is very hard to digest. The God of everything was humble enough to be seen and touched 
we said in, in, the, in the hymns reflecting that the Lord allowed John to rest on him, on his, on his, on his breast in the, in the supper, What amazing things that John, the theologian, was able to see. On the mountain, Christ transfigured. And of course, it's overwhelming to think of saints and how lofty their callings have been and how marvelous God has shown them forth to be. And I think Peter felt that way when he saw John. And after, after the resurrection of Christ, we heard this also in today's Orthros, Peter was sad. after Jesus had asked him, do you love me? And after the third time, do, are, Felis, may, are you my friend? He was sad, but Jesus was restoring him and giving him his calling at that time to, to feed his lambs. But there was still something that bothered him. He said, Lord, what about this man? And he's talking about John the theologian. And what is that to you? What a great question. What is that to you? It's very easy to get caught up looking at other people's vocation and other people's gifts and how wonderful they are. But do it in a sense that, that we wish that we had those gifts. And then when we do that, we can't use the ones that have been entrusted to us. It's not bad to notice those things in others, but to, but to become indignant or, or, or desirous of being them, then it becomes an obstacle spiritually. And I, I was thinking, you know, I think it was St. John Chrysostom who said that, Ma that Matthew, when he writes about the, about the transfiguration, Matthew says, Peter, James, and John went with the Lord. They were selected to, to be seen that. He didn't say, well, apparently Matthew wasn't good enough to be invited to this event, you know, <laughs> He, he, was, he spoke with honor about the disciples who were chosen to, to be there for, for that particular thing. And of course, we're all invited to be partakers of the experience of Christ. The gospel, and I say this all the time, is not just for select few, but we all interact with it in ways that Jesus specifically uh, calls us to do and he sends down the Holy Spirit on us and that's also what takes our excuse away we said in the, in the hymn in the dismissal hymn for St. John that we are now a people with no excuse <laughs> because we've had the Holy Spirit descend on us and what an amazing thing to, to hear that the Lord thirsted in a, in a couple of Sundays, we'll hear about the Lord thirsting at the well. Of course, on the cross to fulfill scriptures, which is what we just heard, that he says, I thirst. But the, but the Lord condescended or was humbled voluntarily to, to thirst so that our thirst for the Holy Spirit would be something that he would be filling, having ascended to heaven and sent down the Holy Spirit. It's 
scary when he says that we have no excuse with the Holy Spirit because it means that every sin that we commit, it becomes an official statement and we still have the ability by that same Holy Spirit to receive complete forgiveness, but we, we do have a stronger accountability now. And we, and we need healing. We need healing in many ways. And we, we heard about the, the, the uh, on the Friday after Pascha, the, the, the tomb that becomes the, the spring of life. We hear about the Most Holy Lady who's the spring of life. The tomb of J St. John, which we celebrate today, also has this dust that comes out that is also healing. There are so many signs of healing that we have in the Lord. And St. John uh, offers these magnificent words that are unto our healing too, that the, that the, the one who was with, without beginning, the one who was in the beginning, is the one that we were able to see and touch. And on the very cross, that this creator of, every, of everything, while he was hanging, while he was thirsting, he gave John the calling to take care of his mother as his own. Istaidia means that you take her as your very own. And the cross of Christ and the body and the blood of Christ, they bring us together in the fellowship, kinonia, communion, that's stronger than biology. I know that we have been waiting and waiting for many weeks and are ready. And now the more that we hear from our, from our civil authorities that things are opening, uh, we're even more ready. And I am sorry that I don't have more updates, but we wait for the instructions and then once we receive them, we will certainly inform the church about what we're able to do. We still can't promise how fast all of this will take place. But we still can do those good works of light, the works of truth, the works of love that express fellowship because we are the church. We are ready, ready, ready to come back as one body into this holy temple. We have to make sure we follow the correct processes. But we continuously submit ourselves to the Lord for the healing of our soul and body. He understands our limitations. He was also beset with difficulties and challenges as a human being. But this healing that comes with the Lord is one that continuously gives us hope and continuously reminds us that wherever we are, we can be doing those works of truth and light. Jesus contrasts truth and evil because we being icons of God, when we do holy things, and resist evil. We're being true to the person that God created, that God created us for holiness and for life and for love.
And so to do good things is to do the truth. We don't think of, of doing as truth. We think of truth as something we say. Of course it is. So, but, it, but, but our whole being, what we think and say and do, when we submit ourselves to God, when we come into his light, when we are open to receive his love, then he helps us to do the truth, to be one big truth. And we have to grow into that. And we will constantly feel unworthy, probably for the rest of our life. But it doesn't mean to despair. It means to, to insist on being on our way, to insist on approaching this light that came into the world. May God continuously give us courage and strengthen our patience and teach us to do the truth. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Christos Anesti. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Wisdom, again and oftentimes we fall down before you and we beseech you who are good and who love mankind that looking down upon our petition, you will cleanse our souls and our bodies from every defilement of body and spirit and grant that we may stand blameless and uncondemned before your holy altar. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith and spiritual discernment to those who pray with us. Grant that they may always worship you with fear and love, partake of your holy mysteries blamelessly and uncondemned and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. That always being protected by your dominion, we may send up glory to you, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages.
Pandon imon nisti kyrios o Theos en ti vasilia aftu pandote nini ke ai ke istu seon asto neonun may the Lord our God remember all of you in His kingdom. Always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Λυρώσω μεν την δέησήν ημών το Κυρίο, υπέρ των προτεθέντων την ποιον δώρον του Κυρίου δέηθόμεν, υπέρ του Αγίου οικουτούτου και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού ισιόντων εν αυτών του Κυρίου δέηθόμεν, υπέρ του ριστίνε ημάς από πάσης θλίψεως οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου δέηθόμεν, Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητη. That the whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Those things which are good and beneficial to our souls and peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord to complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord a Christian end of our lives, painless, unashamed, peaceful, and a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another 
and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, who alone are holy, who accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart, receive also the prayer of us sinners and lead us to your holy altar and enable us to offer gifts and spiritual sacrifices to you for our sins and for the ignorances of the people. And make us worthy to find grace before your face that our sacrifice may be acceptable to you and that the good spirit of your grace may abide with us and upon the gifts here presented and upon your people in everything. Through the compassion of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And to your spirit. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, rising on the third day according to the scriptures, and descending into the heavens, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead, his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovu, proskomen, tin agian anaforan en irini prosferin. Eleon irinis, tisian en the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Anos comentas cardias. Ehomen pros ton kirios. Eucharistis omento kirios. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. You are God, ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, ever existing and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You have brought us out of non-existence into being, and when we fell, you raised us up again. And you did not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your future kingdom. For all these we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things that we know and do not know, for benefits seen and unseen that have been given to us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you have deemed worthy to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and myriads of angels, by the cherub cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victorious hymn, shouting out, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord, Sabbath, heaven, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Oh, blessed. Who comes in the Lord? 
together with these blessed powers, Master who loves mankind, we also proclaim and say you are holy and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and all holy and magnificent is your glory, you soul of the world, that you gave your only begotten Son so that whoever believes in him should not be lost but have eternal life. When he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us on the night in which he was betrayed, or rather in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, he received bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands, giving thanks, blessing, sanctifying, breaking. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Receive me, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Lavete fayete tutum vestito soma, to imperimon clomenon, isafesina martion. And likewise he took the cup after the supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Piete exceptu pandes, tuto estitu ema mutotis genis diethikis, to hiperimon que polone ginomenon, isa fesina martion. Remembering, therefore, the saving commandment and all that came to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into the heavens, the throne at the right hand, the second in glorious return, offering your own of your own to you in all and for all. And again, we offer you that. And make this prayer the first body of Jesus. And that would be the first of the Lord of Jesus. Changing them by heart. But then even the Lord of Jesus. Not for the soul, for the remission. Again, we all give you the first of the Lord of Especially for our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Truly it is proper to call you blessed, ever blessed Theotokos, you who are more pure and ever and of all your saints and supplications, I bid that as we never all have a fallen asleep in their home of rest. You who are more worthy, grant them the rest, our God, with the light of your kindness, and watches over them. Again, we ask you to remember, O Lord, every one of us, and by the power of the Lord, all the presbyteries of Jack and Christ, every priest, and the last of us. Again, we all have a crash in the world for the Holy Child of God, and the Holy Church, for those who live in purity, and the Lord of the Lord, and the Lord of the Lord, and the Lord of the Lord, the armed forces of the world, the Lord, 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 Ον χάρισε της Αγίας Σου Εκκλησίας εν ειρήνη, σών εν τη μονία, μακροημερεύοντα και ορθοτομούντα των λόγων της εις αληθείας, και ον εκαστός κατά διάνοιαν έχει, και πάντων και πασόν. Remember, Lord, this city in which we live, every city and land, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea, by air, by land, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. 
Remember, Lord, those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and who remember the poor and send your mercies upon us all. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise your all-honored and magnificent name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ will be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord with the precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, who has received them at his holy and super heavenly and noetic altar, as a sweet spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust to you our whole life and hope, O Master, who loves mankind, and we beseech you and pray and supplicate, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from the sacred and spiritual table with a clean conscience for remission of sins, for forgiveness of transgressions, for communion with the Holy Spirit, for inheritance of the kingdom of the heavens, for confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, that with confidence and without condemnation, we may dare to call upon you, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Pater Imon, o etis uranis, agiastito to onomasu, el theto i basiliasu, Yenithito to Thelimasu, Ose Nurano que epitis gis, Donarto ni monto nepiusion, Dosi min simeron, Que afe simin tao filimata imon, Os que imis afia mentis ofilete simon, Que miis en engis imas ispirasmon, Alarisa imas apotuponiru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily and forgive us our trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Irini Basi. We thank you, Invisible King, who by your boundless power have created all things, and in the multitude of your mercy have brought all things from non-existence into being. You, Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads to you. They have not bowed down simply to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, distribute these offerings to all of us for good according to the particular need of each. Voyage with those who voyage upon the sea, accompany those who travel, heal the sick, you the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hear us, Lord Jesus Christ our God from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom and come to sanctify us. You who are enthroned on high with the Father and are also invisibly present here with us and deem it worthy that by your mighty hand, your pure body and your precious blood may be given to us and that through us it may be given to all the people. Roscomen ta yati sayis. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy. One is Broken but not divided. Holy. One is Lord Jesus Christ.
of God, the firmament shows the creation of his hands, his proclamation went forth into the fear of God, faith and love draw near. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the light, the true light, and have received that Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down death unto those in the tombs. He has granted life, restores honesty, agnacron, thanaton, thanaton, patisas, ketisantis mni, masi, zoin, harisamenos, Christ is risen from the dead. By death he has trampled upon death. And to those in the tombs he is
now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-giving and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having asked that the whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We thank you, Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that you have made us worthy also on this day of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make our path straight and establish all of us in your fear. Guard our life and make our steps safe through the present supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. You who bless those who bless you, Lord, and who sanctify those who put their trust in you, Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to your clergy, to our civil authorities, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good giving and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from you the Father of lights. And to you we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment Blessed of the law and the prophets. You have completed the divine plan of the Father, fill our hearts with joy and gladness. Always now and forever. From and this the time forth, forever and forever. He told a makiri who have looked him and on. Apoduni, heroes to Aeonos. The name of the Lord is blessed forever. From this time forth, and ever. Let us pray to the Lord. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, give a blessing. May he who is risen from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all blameless Holy Mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers, through the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and baptistron, of the holy glorious and all praiseworthy apostles, of our holy fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, of our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy apostle and evangelist John, the theologian whom we commemorate, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he has trampled down death, and to those in the tombs he is bestowing life. 
The most holy Trinity, bless and keep all of you. Christos Anesti. God be with you. Have a beautiful day.